Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today I'll be doing a DNA reveal on my rescue dog <laughs> from Romania. <laughs> So why is this video going to be so exciting and so different to all the other DNA videos that are out there on YouTube? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll be testing her with two separate DNA companies. I'll be testing her with Wisdom Panel DNA and I shall also be testing her with Embark DNA and I'll be comparing the results. I've had a lot of emails from people suggesting that dog DNA companies have a margin of error somewhere between 5 to 10% I've heard and sometimes your results can come in differently if you test them with different companies. So I thought that would be really, really interesting to find out. So we've already done the wisdom panel test and we have the results but I'm not going to be revealing those to you until I get the Embark results in and then I'm going to be comparing them both side by side. So why would anybody be interested in testing their mixed breed dog? Well of course you look at them don't you? They're, they're made up of all sorts of things and, and sometimes you hazard a guess at what they might be. When I looked at Zora initially when she first came into my house I thought maybe she's got a little bit of lurcher in her. Maybe she's got a little bit of Staffordshire Bulls Harrier in her. Um, and then as time went on and she sat in the corner of my room and she was like grumbling away, I thought, well, maybe she's got Rottweiler in her. Maybe she's got a little bit of Doberman in her. Somebody said that she looked like a Malinois. So curiosity got the better of me and I decided I would definitely like to find out what was in her heritage. One thing I warn people though before they, they do actually test, if you have a dog that is from a country such as Romania or Cyprus or Greece and places where the dogs have bred on the streets for decades and I'm talking 40 years now, these dogs are almost a breed unto themselves. They've become so mixed that you can't properly identify the main breeds. So these DNA companies can only pick up the markers which show the most prominent breeds. So say for instance, Zora here has got a heritage which has got maybe 50 to 60 or even 70 different breeds that have all mushed and mixed over the last 40 years. Those markers will have diluted down and completely disappeared. So her results would just come in as unknown mixed with unknown, unknown mixed with unknown. However, if a couple of generations back, perhaps she had a German Shepherd in her ancestry or a Doberman or something like that, hopefully the markers would be pretty fresh in there and you'd be able to pick that up and you could see the most recent breeds. But sometimes these results can be a little bit, you know, dissatisfying because you get them back and you look at it and it just says unknown, 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 unknown. But anyway, we'll get started with the test and today we will be using Embark. Embark is a, a brilliant um, DNA company. They've got a huge DNA base of all these different breeds. So we're going to do this today and then compare it to the wisdom panel that I did a few months ago. Okay, so we've got the box and I'm opening it up. It says you need to activate, which means you go online onto your computer and you look up their website, which is listed here when you make an account so they know how to contact you and they have all your details. Secondly, you have to swab and it says the dog cannot eat for 30 minutes before collection. Swab the lower cheek pouches to fully soak the sponge. This is because that's where all the saliva is. And then you unscrew the top and insert the tube and you put the collector back into the sterilized compartment. So inside what you've got is you have your little swab collector which comes in a sterilized bag and it's really really important that you keep this sterile. The only thing that must go in here is your dog's DNA and once you're done you pop it into this bag and you can send it back through the post. There's this little tiny um it's this little tiny dog tag here and you can put that on your dog's collar and 
if you want to add them onto the database so other people can see the DNA that your dog's got. Also, if your dog gets lost, it's a way of tracking them down through going on the Embark website with their um, unique DNA. It's got, a, it's got a unique code on the back which will link to your dog. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all with Zora here is we're going to take the tube out, trying to keep this really, really sterile. Do not touch the top of this and do not have it come into contact with your own DNA at any point in time. It should only ever be used for animal DNA. So here she is. I'm going to swab her lower cheek in here. So lots and lots of saliva in the bottom of this cheek and I'm going to give it a good old rub to try and get as many cells as possible from her mouth. There we go Zora, it's not that bad is it? Okay, good girl. Now that's that's thoroughly soaked there, you can see that. Now you don't want to touch that so you want to unscrew this incredibly carefully. It can be a little stiff so be very very careful. You put it straight into the solution here and you screw it on and it says shake 10 times and that's to make sure that everything is preserved properly to go back to the laboratories. So I'm shaking it. Obviously it's more than 10 times, I'm just being safe. Okay, so that goes in there to keep it sterile and then we seal it in this bag like that and then it goes back inside that bag. Okay, it says mail your kit. This box is also your return mailer with prepaid postage on the back. Leave in any mailbox. Hello everybody. So I finally got the results through the post from Embark. And as I mentioned to you before, I've already got the wisdom panel results. And um, today I'm gonna to be comparing the way that both these companies have produced these results and what they give to you, the person that's sending off these DNA kits. So the results I've got for Zora from Wisdom Panel is I've got a breakdown and it's actually really nicely presented. It's sort of like a little family tree showing that she has definitely got German Shepherd and Rottweiler in her history and she's also got a lot of mixed breed general unknowns. Now this is very, very common with a village dog, a stray dog or a street dog that comes from an area where there have been stray or street dogs for many, many generations. And of course, in Romania, they have been on the streets since the 1970s. And what happens is the more and more mixed they get, the, the less likely you're able to detect the short strands of DNA, which can um, tell you what the original breeds were. So the reason that I'm seeing some German Shepherd and some Rottweiler here in the results is because she's got some recent ancestry of a Rottweiler and a German Shepherd. So perhaps one of her stray dog ancestors mated with a pure blood Rottweiler maybe two or three generations ago and the German Shepherd the same. Um, the other thing that Wisdom Panel give you is this really, really nice page. Now it helps me understand more the breakdown in Zora's history. So what we've got here is 62.5% mixed breed groups. We've got 25% German Shepherd and we have 12.5% Rottweiler. And then they've got some traces of Terrier, Sporting, Mountain Dogs and Hound which I think is great. So they've managed to pick up some similarities in the DNA strands, which uh, correlate with these different dog groups, which I, I think is really good. And I really like that to actually have that percentage breakdown. And then Wisdom Panel carry on by giving me this little breakdown, which I find really, really helpful, which shows that she has got some additional dog breed groups in there, as well as Rottweiler and German Shepherd. So it's got a very high probability that she's got Dash Hound in her. And looking at her here, I mean, you can see the, the Rottweiler for sure, can't you? Because she's got fairly dark mask and she's got quite a, a Mastiff look about her. And also she's got sort of a German Shepherd look about her. But sometimes in her little mannerism, she's quite terrier-like. So to actually have that sort of Dash Hound terrier-like personality. It does 
definitely sort of show in some of the things that she does. And then they've told me that she could have something that's called a Entelbusha Mountain Dog, a Bloodhound, Clummer Spaniel, and Wirehead Pointing Griffin. Now these are just a guess. So these companies aren't saying that definitely she has them, but the DNA is very, very strong and similar to these breeds. So going back in the mixed ancestry, there's a good chance that she's got some of that. And that makes sense because when I let her out in the garden, she shows a lot of characteristics of gun dogs and sporting dogs. She'll chase the squirrels, she stalks them. She's very much like a gun dog, the way that she sort of behaves. So I can see exactly what that is trying to tell me. Now let's have a look at Embark. Now Embark, I've been doing a review with them on my wolf dogs and I really like the company because they're the only company presently that have European wolf DNA. So this is why on my previous videos I have been showing you Embark. And um, so I thought what would be really interesting now is to compare Embark to Wisdom Panel. So we did a little cheek swab and um, now we've got the results from Embark. Now they present it in a very different way to Wisdom Panel. So this is what I got sent to me. Okay, so what it shows is Zara is a 100% European village dog. And when you first look at that, you go, Oh, well that's obvious, you know, she's a stray dog from Romania, you're not really telling me much. And then underneath it says that she's got trace breeds of German Shepherd and Rottweiler. So this company has indeed picked up the same breeds that Wisdom Panel has, which is good because it shows that they're both on the right path, they are doing their research correctly, and they have picked up that short strand DNA of both those breeds. Um, and then what they do is they give me a whole load of information about village dogs all over the world and how basically their DNA has become so mixed that it's become very hard to analyse the, the actual breeds, which is true. They've given me this nice little certificate here and um, I got a nice little certificate from Wisdom Panel as well, so both of them are, are really nice. I'm not showing you the Wisdom Panel because it's got my full address on it, so I'm just showing you the Embark for now, but you get that, which is really quite nice. Um, now, the one thing that Wisdom, that Wisdom Panel does not do, that Embark does do, is um, health checks. So when you send off for an Embark DNA, you are getting a whole different analysis. You're going to get a breakdown of 165 inherited medical conditions. And here we can see that Zora is clear for all 165 inherited dog diseases, which is really good. And that puts my mind at, at rest. Now, Wisdom Panel does not give you this. They give you just the breed DNA. So this is where Embark and Wisdom Panel differ quite strongly. And here we've got here from Embark, they give me a world map and they have guessed that Zora is most likely to have come from the areas with the red dots. And of course they are completely correct because these red dots are right over Romania. So they've definitely got enough DNA from those areas from previous um, studies to actually home in on the fact that her street dog DNA is in fact definitely from Romania. There's a few other red dots. So we've got some in the Caribbean area and Mexico and some a little way out in Asia and some of those regions, but absolutely strongest area is in the Romanian area. So they picked that up, which is a really, really good analysis. So at the end of the day, you've got to look at what is the differences between these two companies. Okay, so Wisdom Panel just does your breed DNA and um, they probably do your health DNA, but it, with the package that I sent off for and um, it was asking for the breed analysis, it just simply came back with breed analysis. I think that Wisdom Panel wins when it comes to DNA on mixed breed and stray dogs because I got a really good breakdown. I could clearly see the percentages of Rottweiler and German Shepherd plus they told me all these other amazing breeds that could be in her ancestry. Whereas Embark didn't give me any of that. They just said she's a village dog and there's a little bit of a trace of Rottweiler and German Shepherd. So I wasn't very satisfied with that result. I was still wanting to know more. So Wisdom Panel, you win 
bang when it comes to DNA for street dogs and strays. But Embark, you win when it comes to health analysis for the breeds because you do a very, very thorough health screening for all these inherited conditions, which is marvellous because we can put our minds to rest or even discover a condition that our dogs might have in later life. This is very good when you have dogs such as German Shepherds, where they get the condition where their legs start to become paralysed later in life. These companies can pick up that so you will know if your dog is going to develop a, a condition that could potentially kill them. So there you go, that is my analysis. Um, if you have a stray dog, then it's so much fun to actually go and find out. I've really enjoyed doing this with Zora. She's wonderful. Why don't you have a little guess before you do it? Look at your dog, look at her traits, see how she acts with you, see her mannerisms. And why don't you have a little guess with your family members and then get the test kit send it off and you can see who was the closest and plus it will help you understand your dog a little more oh yes and here we've got i've got this t-shirt on here that says adopt this is raising money to help stray dogs all over the world if you're interested in looking to get one of these t-shirts all the money goes towards rescuing dogs like Zora from Romania and you can pick one up from the website www.angelsfortheinnocent.com so if you like my video then please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to Animal Watch which brings you weekly TV shows on dogs wolves, all sorts of animal rescue and conservation. And remember to hit the alarm bell over there because what that will do, it will send you an email every time I do our upload. And then you can see the video before anyone else has. And um, if you're interested in looking at my other DNA um, results, we did a DNA analysis on my wolf dog, Kumi. And if you want to look at her results, you can click the information box up there now. See you later anyway. Bye for now.